A very good afternoon to all of you. Teaching kids to count is fine, but teaching them what counts is best. So once again, very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and my dear student. Today in this August gathering, we intend to open doorways to the big world outside for our students, and especially for those who have not planned their higher education and are looking for options. It would not be uh, wrong to say that school is just like a launch pad for the students before they take their big flight through their career path and ultimately to a fulfilling life. When someone asks a kid, what do you want to become when you grow up? The very immediate answer from them is a student, a teacher, an engineer, and a doctor. But as they grow up, they don't realize the complications of life increase and then they need to, you know, grow up with all the things around and now choosing a career path that aligns them with our values, interests, skill set is not that very simple. So today we have invited few universities and why? Because where variety meets with a meaning at Unity, that is university. As propounded by us here is so true. After the formal school education, now it's time for the students to look for open doors which will allow them to merge with the beyond. As elders and educators, it's our responsibility to bring before the students the multitude of opportunities that are out there and give them the liberty to take up the one which they think is best for them. So, students will always like to get best, but Tell them the idea about what is the best because they do not get much exposure to know and understand their passion. The school is making an attempt to plan activities, events, so that students understand their passion and the planning they need to make to follow their dream career path. We organize at SBA, we organize uh, university fairs, make university visits and hold workshops and events to support our students to understand their interests and to build their profile so that they are ready for their university education. Today, we have made a humble effort to bring a large part of the country within the reach of the students in the form of delegates from some of the best known universities in India. We are happy to have some of the parents also with us here along with the students of grade 10 and 12. And this is a great opportunity for both parents and students to interact with university delegates and make their decision. Dear all, allow me to announce that today we have representatives from eight universities and these are Ashoka University, Alliance University, Dayanand Sagar, Manipal, RV, OP Jindal and NMILS. These are among the best and the most favorite universities in India. May I request now Mrs. Vani Prata, our CFO, to please felicitate and give a token of appreciation to uh, our university uh, delegates. Let me begin first with Ms. Neha David, who is Deputy Manager of Ashoka University. Ms. Neha David. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Teaching kids to count is fine, but teaching them what counts is best. So once again, very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and my dear student. Today in this August gathering, we intend to open doorways to the big world outside for our students, and especially for those who have not planned their higher education and are looking for options. It would not be uh, wrong to say that school is just like a launch pad for the students before they take their big flight through their career path and ultimately to a fulfilling life. When someone asks a kid, what do you want to become when you grow up? The very immediate answer from them is a student, a teacher, an engineer, and a doctor. But as they grow up, they don't realize the complications of life increase and then they need to, you know, grow up with all the things around and now choosing a career path that aligns them with our values, interests, skill set is not that very simple. So today we have invited few universities and why? Because where variety meets with a meaning at Unity, that is university. As propounded by us here is so true. 
after the formal school education now it's time for the students to look for open doors which will allow them to merge with the beyond as elders and educators it's our responsibility to bring before the students the multitude of opportunities that are out there and give them the liberty to take up the one which they think is best for them so students will always like to get best but send them the idea about what is the best because they do not get much exposure to know and understand their passion the school is making an attempt to plan activities events so that students understand Mr Julian professor at Alliance University please Mr Manoj Kumar Jaina assistant director at Dayanand Sagar University Rajat Pritham assistant manager at Dayanand Sagar University Thank you so very much ma'am Now may I request our principal sir Mr Shantanu Das to please give away the token of appreciation to our delegates uh, Ms Divya Darshini Deputy Manager Admissions Manipal University Mr Vishnu Bhat Deputy Register NMIMS Dr Santosh CD assistant professor NMIMS <laughs> Ms Reema John Fernandez office of admissions RB University Thank you very much sir May I now request our assistant headmaster Mr Sudeep Mukherjee to please give away the token of appreciation Ms Varshini M Office of Admissions RB University Mr Jayant Gogoi Senior Manager Outreach Shivnadhan University I think he has still not reached uh, do we have Mr Abhishek Ganesh from OP Jindal University I think he has also not reached oh, thank you sir Thank you very much. Now I would request the representative to please take over the stage and guide our students and parents through the road map of their future. Thank you. Thank you all. We'll begin with Ashoka University. Ashoka was actually started back in 2014 as a philanthropic initiative 
We have over 150 founders that came together with the goal of creating and developing students who are all-rounded, um, who can think critically about issues from multiple perspectives, uh, and who can also communicate effectively so that they can become our future leaders. Uh, and of course, with a commitment to public service. These are some of our core values at Ashoka. Uh, next slide, please. So at Ashoka University, we talk about having a liberal education system, both in the arts and sciences. Now what this ideally means is that students get to choose uh, what they want to study. Um, in, and actually we have more than 200 different combinations of subjects that students can choose from. Because we feel that each student is unique in their own way and should be able to uh, choose different career opportunities uh, based on their interests. So as you can see on the screen, we have uh, uh, subjects ranging from the social sciences to the natural sciences uh, to humanities as well. Uh, next slide, please. So, next slide, please. So, coming to the undergraduate program at Ashoka University, it is a four-year degree um, where students will end up graduating with a BSc honors uh, or a BS, uh, BA honors with research. However, students do have the option to opt out at three years without doing research. So how we have kind of structured the undergraduate program at Ashoka is all students, irrespective of what field they go into, have to uh, partake in the foundation courses. So these are courses that help develop your core skills like uh, your soft skills, critical thinking, problem solving skills that will be applicable in any role that you take up in life. Uh, then of course we have your major and minor courses, uh, co-curricular activities that are extremely important and research that you partake in in your final year. Next slide please. So coming to the faculty at Ashoka University, we have a very globally renowned uh, faculty here with over 200 faculty members. All our PhD holders at top universities and are specialists in their respective fields. Uh, as you can see, a few prominent names up on the screen. Uh, important thing to note here is that our faculty to student ratio is 11 to 1. So this allows students to really interact with their professors and learn as much as they can from some of the top pedigree of uh, professors from the world. Uh, next slide, please. So coming to summer and semesters abroad, we also have a program where students can choose to do a semester or a summer abroad, learn um, from some of the top global universities and, you know, explore different cultures. So next slide, please. We are actually paneled with more than 24 international global universities. As you can see, many of the Ivy Leagues are there on the screen as well. Um, next slide, please. So coming to the admission process to keep it short, um, the most important thing to note is that we view each and every applicant in a unique and holistic manner. So we're not comparing students to one another, we want to see what best each student can offer. Um, and the most important thing to note here again is that we give equal weightage to both your academic and non-academic engagements. Next slide please. So currently we are in the round three of our admissions, so the deadline is April 15th. However, as you could have seen in the previous slide, our admission process is a bit lengthy, so we do recommend that students take time to really uh, engage with the application process and, you know, not leave it to the last minute. Next slide, please. So coming to financial aid, we won't go into too much detail, but the important thing to note here is that every student, uh, irrespective of their, you know, financial and economic background, uh, no student has ever been denied admission at Ashoka due to financial constraints. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, so coming to placements and higher education, uh, next slide please. We have, these are just a few stats at a glance of our graduating batch of 2022. So the highest salary offered was 37 lakhs per annum and the median salary is mentioned. Not all of our students uh, do sit for placements, next slide please. Uh, these are some of the placements uh, that your know, students from Ashoka that have graduated have gone into the companies mentioned on the screen. This is just to show you the diversity of the different industries and sectors that you know, companies come to hire from at Ashoka. Next slide, please. So these are some of the universities that students have gone on to do their further studies at after Ashoka. So as you can see, a lot of the top IB leagues again. Uh, next slide, please. So just to conclude about the campus life, uh, so Ashoka is a residential campus. Next slide, please. So we have 24-7 facilities uh, on board with the latest, um, you know, state-of-the-art uh, campus with, uh, you know, everything from 55 clubs and societies. Next slide, please. Uh, that students can participate in in their free time and co-curricular activities. Uh, and we also have, you know, everything from your gymming to your sports, next slide please, uh, with all the latest uh, equipment in. So students really have an all-round uh, experience when they come study at Ashoka. Uh, next slide. So just to end, uh, you know, the short presentation, uh, diversity is a very important part of Ashoka. 
we have students uh, coming from uh, so many different countries, 109 different cities from uh, from India, and that plays a crucial role in the learning process because you're getting different perspectives from students from all over the world. So just to end our next set, please, um, looking forward to meeting all of you in our stall and quick reminder about the admission deadline and, uh, you know, pleasure being here today. Thank you, Ms. Leila. And uh, I think you also have a program called Young Entrepreneurs Program, which is one year course for students to transition to the universities abroad. And uh, yeah, so uh, students of grade 12 also can take advantage of that program. And may I now request uh, Alliance University uh, professor to please come and take over? Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for your warm welcome. Warm welcome. I'm very happy to, to be here with you today. My name is Dr. Julia. I come from Aras University, not far at all from, uh, from here, located in Annika, on a very green environment, a bit of the same as the uh, uh, SBA. So we have a lot, uh, a lot in common, I would say. I'm a representative of the School of Liberal Arts. I'm a professor in political science, and I'm currently teaching uh, to our undergraduate students, and also in our uh, fellowship program. I'm a specialist of Russian politics, although I'm a French-born citizen. And I can see that some of you are learning French and Spanish here. I, I had seen on, on the post that it made me curious about, uh, about your school. So, uh, Adams University is one of the, I would say, fastest growing universities in South India, and especially um, in what concerns our School of Liberal Arts. Maybe you have heard about our biannual literary festivals, we have very big names like Shashetaro, like uh, Dev Patanai, like Kenny Sebastian also who, who came to, to perform. And we really try to, uh, to build the leaders of tomorrow, the Indian leaders of tomorrow. And I would say that uh, we believe in the idea of multipolarity. And as far as I'm concerned, as the director of Eurasia Center for Eurasian Studies, I think that you know the future of India is um, belongs to multipolarity, belongs to relations with countries like China, Russia, Indonesia, Singapore, and we encourage our students to try to think for what and to not only you know think about the future in some kind of UK, UK university, British university, French university, but also to look to East, to look to Singapore, to look to Russia, to look to uh, China, and so on. We really want you to try to build your own skill, your own skill set. And this is all about, well, all, uh, all, liberal arts is all about the idea of, you know, individual achievement, self-achievement. We try to help you, you know, to follow your own vibes and to become the person that you really want to be. And as far as I'm concerned, while teaching political science, or my colleagues in literature, economics, uh, arts, uh, um, social studies, uh, gender studies, and so on, we really try to, um, to nurture your curiosity and try to push you to become a better version of yourself. Our idea is, you know, you, you make a bachelor or master degree in a so university, and then you can you can be competitive enough to apply to foreign universities in Europe, in Asia, wherever you want. And if you're a very good student, we can propose you after your graduation to take part in a fellowship program, a fellowship program in which we welcome students coming from many different countries, Afghanistan, Russia, Ghana, Italy, France, Canada. We have fellows coming from many different countries to try to develop your expression learning, becoming an intern in our university and taking an active part in all the activities that we propose. In other university, I would say that for us, what is important is not only what you are going to learn inside the classroom, but also outside the classroom. We have a very active campus life. As far as I'm concerned, I run, for example, the film club, and every, uh, every Wednesday we screen a movie, we have a debate, we have discussion. Uh, we try to initiate our students to world cinema, classical cinema, we have fashion club, literary club, we have many different kinds of clubs. And I would say that also we have a very good network of collaboration, partnership with universities. I was talking to you about Russian universities, Central Asian universities, but also American universities, European universities, Asian universities in general. And I would say that, you know, if you want to, if you have some project in life, if you want to become an entrepreneur, if you want to become a free thinker, it doesn't matter, but you want to uh, pursue your studies, to go for a while, to study abroad, or maybe you have some big ambition for yourself, and you should have, because it's when you are young that you have to build your future plan. 
I think that you know studying in some place like Alain's University, not far from not far from Bangalore, not far from the school where you, where you have been in SBA, it could be a good first step for you before you know moving abroad or before moving to another place. So if you're interested in our program, because we have not only school and but also BBA, a BTEC, a BA and programs, MBA programs also, PhD programs, you can visit our website and you can meet me and my, my colleague Majid and uh, ask us any question you want. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Professor Julian, for that information and uh, for the ethnic attire that you have today. Uh, may I now invite a delegate from Dayan and Sagar University to please take over? Good afternoon, one and all. Uh, myself, Manoj Kumar Jena. I am the uh, Assistant Director of Admissions. And Diamond Sagar University is a well-known brand in uh, Bangalore. Uh, it started six, six decades ago with the Diamond Sagar Institution, which is having uh, three campus right now in Bangalore, and one more campus, 140 acres campus, which is coming up in Arahuli Kanakura, exclusively for the Diamond Sagar University campus, which will be uh, catering to uh, medical engineering and allied health science program. And, uh, uh, and other other uh, medical programs also we are having going to have in uh, our own Kanakura campus. So Dayanand Sagar uh, uh, himself is a barrister who started this uh, uh, institution the six decades ago, uh, which will be started with the seven students. Today we have almost around 8,000 students in our campus. So catering to engineering, medical, health science program, and uh, you put a, uh, Talk about commerce and management program and BA journalism, all these programs we are having. And if you talk about engineering, we are very uh, like a well uh, infrastructure campus which which having the innovation lab where, where IBM, Autodex, VMware, all these companies have set up the lab inside our campus. Students can able to do the uh, like a live project in the first year itself. That that is the another you know, uh, like a uh, very good informative for the students where where you are having the uh, looking for the research oriented career. If you want to do certain kind of research related to the uh, exclusively particular field, that that particular uh, lab facility you are going to have. If you talk about the even uh, uh, applied science also BSc applied science program. Uh, there also we are having the research oriented lab where the student can uh, do research for the biotechnology and if you microbiology, uh, biochemistry and if you talk about the, if you go for the BSc after that you can go for the BMSc and PhD, that also it is possible. And also we are having the commerce and management program, commerce with the integrated program which will be like uh, become with SCCA, become with CMA, become with uh, CA, all these integrated program we are offering. And if you talk about BA, uh, sorry, BBA, BBA, BFSI and general BBA and also we have the BBA retail operation management. And except that if you talk about the journalism and mass communication, we have the BA journalism and mass communication program where uh, students can uh, get the exposure to the uh, media related uh, career and which will be like uh, if you are uh, talking about the production design or you talk about the uh, like uh, uh, if you want to make a career for the uh, media industry or, or if you want to uh, if you have the passion in photography or if you want uh, you have the good in uh, literature if you talk about the Canada literature English literature or Hindi literature you want to be uh, into the media line that exposure you are going to get and we have exclusive uh, studio for that also in our campus where you can get the exposure how the live media uh, activities and uh, brand uh, activities it is happening. That also you are going to do. And uh, we have recently launched one program called B Design, which is B Design, which is the IIT and the NIT other uh, top institutions they are offering, even Diamond Sagar University is also offering, which will be uh, uh, like uh, uh, allow for the uh, not only for science students, even commerce and arts students can eligible to get the admission in B Design program, which is a four years program and uh, where uh, you can able to uh, learn about the production design and uh, user experience design. And these are the uh, exposure you are going to get in our campus. 
and uh, ex except that also we have the multiple curricular activities also there is a various uh, uh, clubs are there where you can able to like you can nurture yourself there you can we, we are doing you to the, uh, the, uh, uh, the the industry level where you can able to tell the interview and how to uh, 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 like you know, uh, be a good citizen of india these are the things we are going to do and except uh, that if you talk about health science program Health science, not only uh, like you know, medical MBBS program we are offering, even also we are offering the uh, like you know, BDS uh, pharmacy, you go B pharma, AMD, and uh, uh, you go talk about uh, you, you can go for the M pharma, and also like we are having the BS, BSC allied health science program, allied health science program which will be another three year, it is as per the new education policy, it is a four years program, three years you are going to study, and one year you are uh, going to work in the hospital. So that, that is internship, one year internship will be there. So uh, the answer, uh, not only into the education, even health sector, we go hard about the uh, uh, Sagar hospitals, which are, we have a multi-speciality hospital in Bangalore, and we have uh, almost two hospital, multi-speciality hospital, and also we have a medical college. So where the students can get the uh, practical exposure, those students who are making the career in health sector, or particularly in the medical cell line, so they can get the exposure in that particular hospital where they can get the internship, whether it is a BSc nursing or a B pharma or a physiotherapy or nursing, any particular career you are choosing, you can get the exposure on that. So uh, I'd like to show one small uh, video which will be, uh, uh, you can get the information. Choose the university? No, I'm able to find a university that meets my requirements. Well, meet your requirements? What exactly are you looking for? I'm looking for a place that gives me an opportunity to grow, to excel, to invent, and to innovate. I want to be a part of an institution that paves my way to discover myself and to witness the world moving forward in technology. I want to go to a place that sets a futuristic pattern of education filled with ideas and radical performances. Basically, I want to live my dream. Daniel Sagar University, live the dream. Thank you. Thank you. If you uh, if like to know more information, you can visit our staff for all the uh, like, you know, different courses information about the uh, specialty of the specialization of the program. We are going to uh, inform you. Thank you. Thank you very much.